Okay, this video is a book review, and here is the book. The book is Medical Reformation and Vegan Renaissance Bible. It's by me, Peter Rogers, MD. Subtitle is Poor Man's Guide to Health, Nutrition, and Toxicology. It is a big book. It's about 774 pages. Pages. I would say probably only, I don't know, about 600, let's see, 600, 650 are all that. And then in the last part, I put a whole bunch of paintings. You know, it's a lot of Christian art and stuff like that. I was talking about how do you reduce stress as all part of improving your health and stuff. I kind of got a little carried away with that. I screwed up. I made some screw-ups. The biggest screw-up was, you know, I'll, in the specifications, it's self-published. I don't have time to work with a regular publisher. I've published a bunch of books with publishers in the past, but they're real slow. It takes them like a, over a year to publish stuff typically. So the screw-ups I made were, you know, it said you have to have less than 830 pages which I did. I, I finished it about 822 pages, but then I didn't know you have to have a file size less than 650 megabytes. So I had to reformat the whole thing and take out a bunch of stuff. And so there's little stupid things like that. Okay. On the other hand, though, when the Bible's written, there's all kinds of awkwardness and stupidities there too. Um, so be that as it may. Um, well, what's in the book? You know, just to look at the table of contents. I basically went through the, all the common Western diseases and explained what's true about them, what's not true. Because the medical books all stink. They all say the same thing. Nobody knows the causes of this disease. Um, it's associated with aging. It's partly genetic. So take our pill and get our surgery. Okay, that's what they pretty much say for everything. That's why they're a joke. Um, so I'll go through all of them in here. And uh, it's a lot. Like, here's the table of contents. There's... 42 chapters. Um, right in the beginning, I put a summary of what you need to do. Because I know that the reality is most people are too lazy and stupid with no curiosity. And so they're not going to read the book. But if they at least read one page, they'll get the key points of it. Um, I sort of make this, you know, like for health aristocrats, people that are serious about learning. And there's not many of them, but the ones who are, the book's there. Um, and then, you know, like I had a lot of fun doing this. I'm kind of exhausted. I'm working full time, but I sort of feel like Muhammad Ali when he won the world title. He said, I shook up the world. You know, he beat Sonny Liston. I shook up the world. So I was pretty happy to have finished this. I always wanted <clears throat> to do something great. I think this is the best medical book ever written. I don't think there's anything even comparable to it, you know. There's a lot of great books, but they're all kind of narrow and focused. This, this is pretty comprehensive about all the major <clears throat> chronic diseases and a lot more than that. Okay, let's take a look at uh, what else we got here. Oh, here's what the book actually looks like. Here's the cover of it. Um, oh, shoot. I'm about to move myself here. Um, <clears throat> Medical Reformation, Vegan Renaissance Bible, Poor Man's Guide to Health, Nutrition, and Toxicology. It is Martin Luther before the Diet of Worms where he said, you know, how can I recant? The popes and the councils have contradicted each other. My conscience is captive to the word of God. I cannot and will not recant anything. So help me God, amen. Okay, so anyway, it's pretty dramatic. You know, I'm more of an Erasmus than a Luther, okay? There's a lot of good things about the conventional medical system, but it's got plenty of problems too, and this book will talk about that. Um, what I mainly do is just explain real pathophysiology. There's a ton of stuff in the scientific literature that never, ever gets into the medical books. None of the famous nutrition people that anybody knows who studies nutrition are in any of the medical books. Okay, um, let's kind of go through, like, what are the strengths and weaknesses. So the biggest benefit of this book is a lot of people have asked me, you know, for my slides or to email them stuff, and I just I can't even send a single picture in email. But here is the whole book, all, all these pictures. You see all the things that I draw for all my lectures? They're all in here. Okay, I try to put as many of them as I could fit in here. So that's good. Um, you get the real inside truth about these major diseases that are quite common that you or your friends and family will probably die from. All right, what's bad? The book costs too much. It costs probably the sale price right now is about $100. And why is that? Because it's on premium color paper with color illustrations, high resolution. And I wanted to make a cheaper version with all compressed files, but it's actually really difficult to do because you have to shrink it. You have to shrink the book to 600 pages or less. 
and it would take me you know a couple weeks to, to make a shorter version so I intend to maybe someday do that you know so I, I realize that over you know costing a hundred to hundred thirty dollars probably practically no one is going to do this except a couple of real wealthy people that's okay though I'm glad I've written it the Kindle version only costs $9.99 so you can get the Kindle version, but I, I think you would drive yourself insane to try to re read this on Kindle. I mean, it's a big monster of a book on paper, yet alone on Kindle. I don't like reading off a Kindle screen or a phone. Uh, but for people who do, it's there, and you can use it as a reference. Um, I kind of go through stuff I've gone in my lectures before, uh, but... You know, and I know, you know, you talk to patients, and they're like, oh, I'd rather die than stop eating me, you know. I don't care, look. You can't save stupid people, and most people are pretty stupid, so, you know, there's not much you can do for them. Give them their drugs, do your surgeries on them, but I wanted something for people who actually want to read, who want to learn. I wanted it to be possible, and I've done it, okay, and I'm pretty happy. I mean, I'm working full time. I don't really have any time to do this. I was just, all my every free moment, I said, I'm going to do this. Basically, you know, and like I talked to Chef AJ, I said, I wish I could rewrite all the medical textbooks. She's like, well, why don't you? And I said, because I'm exhausted. I'm working all the time. I work full time as a clinical doctor. And, you know, I kind of wish somebody would sponsor me, but nobody's going to sponsor me. I'm a bad boy of veganism. I don't even <laughs> have a sponsor for anything. I don't, my channel's not monetized. I don't make any money with this. But I kind of studied how people like Robert Piercig, when he wrote Zen and the Art of Motorcycle Maintenance, and some other persons, Persons in Exile, Dante, and other ones, how did they get a book written? And what you do is you go to bed early, you wake up early, and you write a little bit in the morning, you do a little bit each day. And then you just crank on it when you have a weekend or a day off, and that's what I did. Um, so I was real happy to get this done. Yeah, in the future I'll touch it up, you know, and you know, like I put too much stuff on estrogenic chemistry. I kind of duplicated the sections on estrogenic chemistry when I was talking about obesity and when I was talking about breast cancer. So there's things like that. It could be, you know, better. Um, my prose is not the best. When I write my own books, like, you know, Journey to Optimal Health or something, I got time to make everything flow and create jokes and set up jokes and create a tempo, a cadence, and had a lot of fun with that. This book is more, here's the picture, here's what it means. Here's the picture, here's what it means. Here's the picture, here's what it means. And I think that helps because a lot of concepts, you know, when you see a picture, you get them a lot faster. Um, I did throw in there a lot of art, especially Christian art, because Christian art's the best art. Okay, it just is, all right? If you know something better, let me know. Um, and I was trying to have sections on cheering people up, you know, sort of maintaining a good uh, sense of mind, a sense of purpose, a sense of identity, a sense of religion. All of those things help people to be more resilient psychologically. So I go into all this psychological resist, uh, resilience about how to lower one's stress level. But the unique thing about it is all the advanced stuff here. Like, you know, when I talk about, I pretty much talk about a lot of stuff I've talked about in my other books, but I go into way more detail with way more pictures here. Um, and so if you really want to learn stuff, this is the book. I mean, basically, you could take all the standard medical school education stuff and then add this to it, and you would really have a great understanding of medical stuff. So uh, in the future, I'll give some individual lectures. I was just sort of like announcing the book here. And like I said, the big major screw up was it cost too much. I, you know, I wanted to then do it on regular paper, but if you do it on regular paper instead of the premium color paper, then you have to make the book shorter than 600 pages. And then I would, you know, it take it would take me a week to edit it to that point. You know, it take me a, a lot of it takes a lot of time. Just the last minute formatting and editing that was over 20 hours of work. So, um, anyways, the book exists now. All the medical textbooks they have been rewritten. I'm claiming that I am the greatest doctor in the world at this point. McDougall will probably catch up to me pretty fast again, but I think I've taken the title from him for a little while. Uh, there's other doctors out there that are really good, but I don't think there's anybody like McDougall and myself who's comprehensively gone over so much stuff in so much detail and corrected so many previous errors and misconceptions and oversimplifications. So for what it's worth, there it is. Um, and, you know, I will eventually try to make an abridged version, make it better. I don't know how soon I'll have time to get to that. It takes a lot of energy. I've got to get myself psyched up to have the energy for it. And I have to put my entire rest of my life on hold, you know, for months to, to do something like this. That's probably why you notice I haven't made that many original videos lately. Uh, but th this is what it's all about. Uh, but, yeah, I'm happy. I'm proud of this. You know, my mother, I told her I'd become a great doctor, and, and I've done it. And this is it. Like I said, this is the best medical book written. There's nothing else written as good as this. And you go find your book, and then you read them, and you compare them, you will see there's nothing like it. I know there's nothing like it. There's nothing even close.